Scientists poised to test the first bionic eye in the U.S. Who is it aimed at and how much sight can it restore? Shirley Wang is reporting from London. Hi, Shirley. FDA approval, Hi, for, the, FDA approval for this eye could come as soon as this week. It's called the Argus II. It sort of functions like a retinal prosthesis. Th thesis. Who, who does it work best for? This is a device. It is a retinal prosthesis. It would be best for patients with a eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa, where um, they basically lose their sight uh, over a number of years because the receptors in the eye that process light become damaged and start to die. But the rest of their eye is still healthy. So um, by, if you can bypass that layer of dead cells and reroute the visual information to the healthy part of the eye in the brain, then they should be able to process information, the visual information again, and actually be able to see some things again. About 50 people out there now wearing and testing the Argus II. What is the surgery like? Uh, how invasive is it to implant it? And what types of, of sight improvement have they seen? Right, so it actually, the surgery has become a lot less complex over the years. Now I'm told that it can be, a, it's just a couple hour surgery and can be um, fairly routine. Um, when people first started being implanted with these kinds of devices, it was, a, it was many, many hours long and very complex and, and still perhaps not um, an easy surgery, but much more straightforward, say doctors. But, uh, but the people that have responded the best to this prosthesis actually went from seeing pretty much nothing, they were pretty much blind, to now being able to read letters as, uh, that are about a few inches tall. So if, for some people, it's really remarkable. Now, the Argus II is not the only bionic eye uh, on the horizon or in development. There are other players, including one that makes use of very tiny photovoltaic solar panels. Is that right? That's right. That's a group out at Stanford University. A lot of these other um, devices are still in academic um, labs being developed, but this group at Stanford has actually used these little solar cells on a a uh, panel that gets embedded into your eye, implanted into your eye, and the idea there is that because each solar cell is so small, you can actually put a lot of different ones onto a chip that's a tiny, tiny little piece that fits right by your retina, and it should be a way of actually providing more detailed, more, uh, more fine visual information. So perhaps one day patients who are outfitted with this, this type of prosthesis, if it actually gets to that point, maybe would even be able to read or something like that. All right, Shirley Wang with an uh, incredible advancement in medical technology. Appreciate your being here with us more in the Personal Journal section tomorrow.